We're gonna do a pickup video. Mort's been humble bragging to me for like a month. Just stuff. play the theme song. Riff and Mort. Riff and Mort and Riff and Mort. Riff and Mort and Riff and Mort. Talking about stuff that they got out on the hunt. Games and toys that you wanna know. It's the Riff and Morty Show. Riff and Morty. Here we are, 2021, ready for Mort's pickups. Mort. Yeah. I'm, I'm ready for your pickups, bro. I'm ready to share them. It's been an eventful year for all of us, but I haven't been out game hunting nearly in the same way. I've been keeping it safe, and so I have a lot of things to show off, including today, quite literally, top three pickups of all time. I'm gonna share that with you. And a very, a very NES-themed pickups video today. But quite literally, top three videos, pickups and videos, and everything of all time. So I was kind of done with uh, box collecting because mm. I finished the N64 set. If you haven't seen that video, put a link on this one. It's a great video because it was a fun journey and it was fun to talk about it. It's really cool. But I, I still find myself collecting boxes for other systems, but just kind of games that mean a lot to me. This is one of them. Love that game. Blades of Steel on the NES. I got this for 15 bucks. Completely. Blades of Steel. Oh. I mean, what was the best part of this game for you? Fighting. Fighting, right? I mean, as a kid, it was mind-blowing to play, but I mean, just as a, I, this is kind of a, the game that introduced me to the sort of NFL Blitz style, NBA yeah. Jam style, kind of yeah. just arcade, pick up and play. I don't have to go in and like team manage everything. And the graphics were nice too, and the fight graphics were nice too. It was a, a step up from yeah. ice hockey. Yes, on the totally. NES. Well, and in both of those games, ice hockey and Blades Still of Steel, good. great games, yeah. but I got this for such a great deal. The box is in great condition. The manual's in great shape. I already had the game, and so I sold the, the game that came with this and was stoked, but this is one of my favorite NES games. If you don't have this on the NES, it's like a three or five dollar game. More than worth most. it. Worth every dollar. All three of them. All three of them dollars. Zers. I've not seen such bravery. He's like a sweet. This is something I'd never seen before, and locally, someone was selling this, and whenever I see this kind of a thing where it's rare, it's unique, yeah. I gotta get it. I got this in a bundle and sold off the rest of the bundle, kept this, didn't pay a dollar for it. It's a Sony PSP wow. Kingdom Hearts Edition. Now, what makes it Kingdom Hearts Edition is there's a set of stickers on it, and the stickers on this one were already peeled off and placed onto the console, which I was kind of bummed about, but honestly, I just kind of loved the box. The <laughs> box is was really so cool. It's really cool when you showed it to me from far away before yeah. we started filming, because before this video, I was like, more, I'm not bringing any pickups. I want this to be you, things I haven't seen. And when he pulled this out, he was like about to talk about it. I'm like, whoa, I've never seen that. Yeah. I love having Mickey Mouse in the front. Yeah. I think that it was just a really cool, like you said, a really cool yeah. display piece, but yeah. still cool besides the display. Well, I mean, and Kingdom Hearts is a legendary series, uh, but you know, for me, I almost sold off my whole PSP collection. Wow. Because I, I've been downsizing, which you may not believe, but wow. I have been. But I found this and I was like, maybe not right now, because yeah. it's so cool. But um, you know, you can see it's, it, the console wow. itself is you know really clean, it's in good shape. Yeah, it looks great. And then it comes with a lot of the paperwork, it has the Little Birth booklet. by Sleep, Manual. you know, single, not for resale version. Very cool, more. I've not seen such bravery. Horror games for me are really hit and miss. I like them, I like the tension of them. Yes. Kind of the game that got me kind of more into it was Dino Crisis on the PS1. Got this copy on the Dreamcast. This yeah. is sort of the definitive way to play the yeah. game. I don't know if there's a PC version, there might be. But uh, graphics on the Dreamcast one are a lot better. And then I have my Dreamcast hooked up through an HDMI cable, so it's all super nice looking and everything. Beautiful. This is a great game. This is sort of like Jurassic Park meets Resident Evil, if you totally. haven't heard of it. And I think you can even download it on the PlayStation Store for like $4 or something for the PS1 version. Worth it. Really worth it. Uh, same kind of principle in this game as Resident Evil. Conserve your ammo. Yep. High tension. There are moments of gore and everything involving the dinosaurs, and there's this mystery that's sort of being uncovered. Um, if you're looking for the definitive way to play it, the yeah. Dreamcast version is. And I feel like it never got obviously as much love as the big horror games of the time, Resident yeah. Evil, Silent Hill. But I feel like there's a good uprising of people that I've yes. heard talk about this game a lot more lately because I feel like a lot of people are getting tired of talking about the same horror movies when they think, or yeah. horror video games when they think of video games. Well, it's a bit of an unfocused series, really, because there's this there's this game 
And then the second one, Dino Crisis 2 on the PlayStation 1, which did not come to the Dreamcast, that was just a purely action. Different type of game. Lots of ammo everywhere. And then the Xbox comes out with Jurassic Park. Dino Crisis 3, which is like dinosaurs in space, and it's not a very good game. Yeah, and... it's not a very good I mean, it, honestly, it, I would never judge a book by its cover, but this cover just sound, looks it's, so cheesy. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, really? Yeah, this ain't going well. You are seeing what is advertised pretty clearly on the cover of this one, for sure. So judge a book by its cover. No, don't be judgmental. <laughs> I've not seen such bravery. Amiibos, I have totally changed my tune you on did. Amiibos. And um, I picked up a lot uh, with of Amiibos, had a few of the ones in it, didn't have this. I've been collecting the Zelda Amiibos uh, from the Zelda series because I love these as display pieces. I, I'm never gonna open this box. I don't care if you don't like me for that. But, but you do open a lot of your Amiibos. I do. I'm looking at like 50 of them behind, in front of us, by the way, that's why. But this is, I mean, I love this, the Wind Waker. I mean, so great. And when they brought this to the Wii U, that translation of the game graphically, it's like it was meant to be in high definition. Totally. And it's beautiful. And so this, I love these amiibos. I love these characters. Uh, I love what they did with the game. I love how Link's arm to it like gives the the fluidity of what the game is because yes. he has no like elbow movement. It's like no. it's like a SpongeBob arm where it's like curved. <laughs> like there's no like joint points in it. It's like the <laughs> arm. I love it. And then Zelda's there like eh? <laughs> I never realized that. <laughs> she does. She does look a little funny in this, but uh, I never thought about that. Hey, it's pretty cool. I I I love these things. Do they love you? It uh, bit me. It did? Yeah, your box just bit me. I promise. No. Roll the tape. Okay. I'm now, gonna totally... if you watch here on the replay, here is Riff being bit by the amiibo box. Right in the finger? Uh, palm? I've not seen such bravery. Riff, Emily. Riff, Emily. This is a, this is a weird one. Uh, I was at a video game store that I really love in uh, Anaheim called um, Video Game Geeks. Got it. And they've been around for years. And so I'm looking up and I see this giant box. Interesting. And I'm like, I go, I've never seen that before. I've never, I've never seen this. And it's either. up for like 60 bucks or something like wow, that. Wow, okay. And I'm like, I've never seen that before. Can I take a look? And so guy pulls down this wow. box. <laughs> that is cool, dude. This is a remote controlled airplane. I am afraid to ever try and fly a remote controlled airplane. Yeah, dude. Because I just think that's gonna break. Tom but... Clancy Splinter Cell Blacklist Paladin Multi-Mission Aircraft Edition. Yeah. Wow. So he he goes, I, he goes, do you want it? And I'm like, I I do, but I don't want it for sixty dollars. And I and he goes, well name a price. And I go. 10 bucks. What? And he goes, uh, how about 15? I was like, deal. You so, got this for 15 bucks? Yeah, I did. And I'm afraid to take the airplane out and and try and piece it together and try and fly it. There are YouTube videos of people flying it. I was gonna say, yes. if there's none, we gotta hook up a GoPro to it and just go. You know? Well, yeah. I'm down, you yeah. know? But the, the videos that I've seen, I would say like 25% of them, people are like, all right, here it goes. It, the plane goes up and then it just crashes. Oh, like, God. okay, yeah, you know, so you don't wanna break it. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know. 15 bucks? Yeah. That's all I still can think about. You yeah. were talking, all I saw was 15 bucks. Yeah, life. which I, I wanna thank the store for giving me such a great deal. I think he just wanted to get it out of his yeah, store. That's a big item to have if you haven't. Yeah. yeah, and so it must have been sitting for a while. Splinter Cell, Splinter Cell Airplane Edition. It's I've not seen such bravery. Like I said, this is probably more of an NES themed pickups video. I love it. it feels so so whole. Something about NES pickups. I think it's just because what the show was built on originally. It, That's this why. is the NES Pursuit yeah. side quest yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, yeah like the it. Riff and Morty show. Anyway, yeah. this is one of the best games on the It NES. really is one Super of the best games. Ball. Oh my gosh. Uh, so someone was selling this. And it's a Technos Japan game, and Technos Japan games, I mean, there are just an endless list of games with these graphics that are absolutely all fantastic. Yes. I, Alex is one of the characters. I do have Alex tattooed on my arm. No kidding. Yeah, so We'll it's, show that in the B-roll, too. Hey, uh, whoa! How, how good does that box look? It looks darn near, there's like bare 
barely little crinkles. Barely. Yeah. yeah, it's near perfect condition. Yeah. And so the seller that was selling it gave me a great deal. I couldn't believe it, but uh, this is one of those things where it's like, again, I'm not looking for NES stuff, maybe some black box games. I wouldn't mind getting a couple more of those, but this is one of those games that I played hours of, and it's a great multiplayer game to this day. I think on it, the Japanese version with the four score, it's four players, I think. No. I think it's couch co-op four players. Oh, that's awesome. Famicom. Oh, but still awesome. such a fun game. The power moves, yeah. the characters, the dances, the, the music. So great. So so I'm gonna play the Shadow Final Level theme song right now. And we're back and you all heard it, it was really good. Yeah, I I couldn't believe how much I sweat from all the dancing from playing that just now. You danced the whole time. I've not seen such bravery. Hold that. Ooh. Maybe a Pus Vita. PlayStation Vita is, I think it's the new Sega Saturn in the sense that the games are hard to find and they continue to go up in value, but I love the system. I think that it sort of is like the Switch 1.0 in the sense that, you know, here you have this handheld with two analog sticks, a lot of power. It's a beautiful machine. It's it got is. that OLED screen. It's uh, I think that's the LCD screen, actually. It reminds that me is of, the LCD screen. It reminds screen. me of the, the way Astro, what is it called? Astro bought the character. Yes, it looks totally. Like him. Yes. You know, how's that look? Someone was selling this for a great deal uh, locally. This is uh, a Japanese, by the way, the, re the Vita is a region free console. So no matter where you buy it, you can play every game from everywhere on That's it. That's awesome. And there's a lot of really English friendly games on it. So, um, but nonetheless, this is the Final Fantasy HD remaster PlayStation Vita console. You know, the big criticism when this console was running strong was gosh, there's no games. However, thanks to Limited Run and mm. so many others, there's like 300 Limited, physical copies fun. out there to find. More than the N64's library in physical form. More than certainly. the PlayStation 2. More than the uh, Virtual Boy, probably. Wow. How many does Virtual Boy have? 18, 12, 16? At least. Four. 20. I think at least one. I'll take that. I've not seen such bravery. Top three finds of all time. This is probably my, probably my second best find of all time. This had been posted up online for a few hours, and I thought, it's gone. There's no, there's no way it's still there, but I'm still gonna message the person anyway. And what I was excited about, it was six NES games, complete in box, and a couple loose cartridges. The one that I was most excited to get was this one, Popeye. But Black box games are often in rough shape. How's that guy look? The hang top and everything has not even been crisp. There's a slight tear at the very top, but it's barely even noticeable. It's it's in beautiful shape. I was mostly excited about this game. And so Popeye is a classic black box game. Fantastic game, honestly, in my opinion. Truly, fun game to play, uh, you know, great for multiplayer and everything too. Was excited about this. You were. Popeye uh, was there, but this game was also in the lot. Just, just keep watching. I could not believe it. Chubby Cherub was in the lot. But with the, I mean the game, yes, yeah. it's still pricey. Which this is a custom cover. Look at that thing. Beautiful artwork. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. <laughs> Get this tattooed on you. Our, our buddy Archon commented on the Instagram. He said, I'm getting this Chubby Cherub artwork tattooed on me. So I would do it. I couldn't believe this. The that box. It was, and I couldn't believe it had been sitting there and no one had been like all rushing to grab it because this is a high value, Very. highly collectible Very. NES game. Chubby Cherub, if you haven't played it, you play this little angel guy Guy who's flying around and you are eating all these little things to keep you flying and it's not a very good game it's for us we're right across around the corner from Valentine's Day so it kind of has a Valentine's Day vibe <laughs> we're right around the corner from Valentine's Day <laughs> it's the perfect game to get your loved one it is the perfect game to get your loved one <laughs> interesting game worth playing however you might be able to but I cheapest way possible would be ideal ideal but. but I didn't find it all that all that great of a game to play but as I'm driving Driving home, oh boy. and I, I'm looking through the lot. It also had Dragon Warrior complete in box, Spy vs. Spy complete in box. Still good games. Good games and like super clean condition. Box. Good stuff. And as I'm driving home, I pull over for what I think, and I think at this point, I'm gonna sell you know the, the rest of the lot and keep Popeye and maybe Chubby Cherub if I want. Yeah. But I don't even know if I'm gonna keep it to yeah. be honest. And then I, I I I look at the last game in the lot. I did not know that this was in 
uh, like a heavy hitter game. I did. When you sent it to the group chat, I thought you were trolling us. That's why I didn't respond. I no. was like, oh, you're being stupid. Yeah, Scoon. This game scoons so hard. Which I call it Scoon. Scoon, Scoon. Either, whatever. There's no W, so I probably am speaking the King's English <laughs> on this one. But I I had no idea that this was what it is. And I... What, 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 what is it worth? Box. I'm not even going to say, because I don't want to... I don't want... You can look it up can for I yourself. Can I put it in a video? Uh, I mean, it's your it's your channel. It's in the video. So, but I did not know this mm. ahead of time that this was yeah. in it. So, Schoon is a shooting game where you're this little submarine. Yeah, side scrolling. Side scrolling shooter. It's a shmup. Oh, almost oh, might even call it a cut 'em up. Might even call it a cut 'em up. But it actually has some really unique gameplay mechanics where, as you're driving through the level or you know floating through the level, yeah. You have to be mindful of how much air or energy or whatever it is that your boat has, and you have to collect these sort of surviving people in the water and then return them to the surface while managing all the stuff that's coming at you on the screen. And as you are are going from left to right and going, it's it's really hectic, but I think it's like six or eight levels or something. Okay. It's not like a super long game. Of all the boxes in the lot, this one was by far the cleanest. And it's and IREM. All oh the yeah, other it ones, is perfect. All the other ones ones were super clean already. So I couldn't believe it. I had no idea going into to the pickup that it was what it was, but I'm grateful. Schoon you later. I've not seen such bravery. I, I picked up um, a thing. Yeah, that's cool. It was cool. You, well, you've gotten a lot of great stuff too, but you've been showing it throughout and uh, the progress of it. Yeah. So tell us what have been some of your bright spots uh, lately? Have you found any great finds that you'd love to share? Mine is the spoon that my buddy gave me. Yeah, uh, that's cool. I, that's weird. I got one too. No. So. Nope. Anyway, so I inherited this YouTube channel well, called uh, Pixel Mort Squad, and it's basically wow. where I go around. Um, stealing. What's Metal Jesus doing here? It prays a lot. Okay, this is done now. <laughs> Let's not say that. What if I did it like this? <laughs> you totally should. Probably wait. No, no, no. Start with it down and then. Oh, and then and when then, you pause, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah.